Hi everyone! We want to say that we miss you guys and we look forward to seeing you whenever this whole pandemic is over. So today we're going to be teaching you guys, or I'll be teaching you guys, how to paint a flower. And this idea came from Patty, who is from Deep Space Sparkle. And I will link it down below so you guys can check out her page. She has tons of cool art activities and different art ideas that you guys can do at home if you would like. And let's get started. So here are some of the materials that you'll need today, but also remember that any of this can be substituted. For example, we're going to be using a canvas to paint, but if you don't have a canvas, you can do it on a paper. That's just fine. That's just as fine. Another thing that we will need is a paintbrush. I just have different ones in here, but any paintbrush will be fine. You will also need your paint, but if you don't have paints, you can um, use oil pastels, colored pencils, watercolors, whatever you do have will work. And I picked these colors, which you can also choose any color you would like. I did a white so that I can also mix it with another color and make that color lighter. I have purple, black, blue, and yellow. Another thing that I like to do is have a pencil and an eraser, and what I like to do with that is, before I paint, I always like to stencil stencil it out, or I would like to draw it out, and then whatever I don't like, I'll erase it and fix it, and it just helps me paint more smoothly. You can also use a plate or a tray, whatever you have. I just have this little paint tray that I got from the dollar store and it comes with the, I think about like six but you can also just use a regular paper plate or whatever you choose. I have a water cup. I kind of decided to use an old water bottle, cut it and fill it with water and I just reuse it every time. And I also have a paper napkin that way I can dry off my paintbrush. So we're going to start off by drawing a circle and this circle is going to be the middle of our flower. You can also use anything around the house that's lying around that is in the shape of a circle and you can also use that to stencil out the circle unless you want to freehand it like I did. You're going to want to start making tick marks. These tick marks are going to help you form your flower petals. For each tick mark, I also made a tick mark on the opposite end. Once you're done with your tick marks, you're going to want to start forming the flower petals. Remember that not all flower petals are the same size and shape, so it's okay if one comes out a little bigger than the other. And if you choose to change it, then all you got to do is erase it. You want to keep doing the same process for all the rest of the flower petals. So what I like to do now is I like to put my paints that I'll be using in my tray. I always put about a quarter size just because if you put too much you may, you may have that paint go to waste. So it's better to put a little bit and then to eventually build up. For the center of your flower, you're going to start painting it yellow. I noticed that the yellow was a little too bright for me, so I decided to add a little bit of white just to make it more of a pastel yellow. Now that I'm done with my yellow, I'm going to start washing off my brush, and I'm going to also make sure to wipe it on the napkin to get rid of that excess water and paint color from the yellow. I'm going to start painting the petals purple. I mix a little bit of white in here just because that purple was a little too dark. If you do feel like this video is going too fast, don't be afraid to press pause. 
you're going to start painting each petal purple. And you're going to continue this for all of the rest of the petals. And don't worry if it's not too dark or if there's a little bit of blotches because you're going to do a second coat once you wait for the first coat to dry. Once I waited about five minutes for that first coat of purple to dry, I am now going over with my second coat. This second coat will help that purple be a little bit more vivid and will help the white blotches from coming through. So with the paint still being wet, you're going to want to grab a smaller brush and add a little bit of white, and you're going to start adding some highlight to your flower. I noticed that this white was a little too bright for me, so I went in with purple again in hopes to lighten it up. It is up to you on where you want to decide to add the highlight or if you want to even add the highlight at all. The highlight is good for adding some dimension to your flower. we're done with the highlight I decided to clean my brush and add blue the blue is going to be for the background and the background will take multiple coats you'll want to use a small brush when you go around the little petals this will help from the paint getting onto the purple but if it does, then you can also go back with that purple and go over it, which is totally fine. Just kidding, it only took about three coats to completely cover the background in blue. You want to make sure there's no white peeking through. And once you're done with your background and it's completely covered in the blue, you'll want to wait about 10 minutes before doing the next step. For the last step, you're going to want to outline everything on your flower in black. You can choose to skip this step and leave it as it already is, if you would like. So I'm going to outline all the petals along with the center of the flower. We are looking forward to seeing your work and go ahead and post it on class.